In this video, we're going to talk about how to stop trying to control people. If there's one thing I've learned in my life, all of my stress and strife in all kind of areas have been when I've tried to control other people. Trying to get them to do what I wanted them to do, be who I wanted them to be. And it's just a lose lose situation. Everybody's free to do what they want to do. And when you start trying to control people, you're only setting yourself up for failure. Even if they comply in the beginning, eventually they're going to wake up and be like, you know what? I'm not going to do this. And you're going to be setting yourself up for fr frustration. The reality of it is, is this. You can't control anybody else. It's a fallacy. It's not true. It's an illusion. The only person you can control is yourself. And the more you try to control somebody, the more brain damage you're going to have. Because you're going to be hitting your head against the wall. The more frustration you're going to have and the more problems you're going to have. You've already experienced that. So you know what I'm talking about. So how do you how do you stop that? The opposite of control is allow. Just allow people to do what they want to do. They say what they want to say. Want to say. They want to say something stupid. Let them say it stu something stupid. Then you decide what you're going to do. Only control you. Only control yourself. Somebody can do anything. And then you can respond. On how you're going to react to that. Right. But that's you controlling your own actions. It's not you trying to stop them from doing that. For example. Somebody you just at the bus stop and somebody just come up to you and slap you. You can be like, hey, man. What you slap me for? I'm just sitting here minding my own business. They slap you again. Hey, man, you need to stop slapping me. I need you. To stop the bow, slap you again. Hey, man. And you just keep on trying to get them to stop. What are you going to do? You have a right to protect yourself. You can hit them back or you can just leave. You just walk away. So they stop. At least they're going to stop slapping you if you walk away. Or if you slap them harder, then maybe they'll stop. But I'm not trying to get them to do anything. I know what I want to protect myself. Yeah, but I do I protect myself by taking actions for myself, not trying to get you to do anything. See what I'm saying? So, man, let people do what they got to do. Let people do what they want to do. That was a hard part for me because I thought that I let people do what they wanted to do if it worked for me. But if it was something I didn't want, I, didn't, I thought that I didn't, it was, I didn't, it was cool not to want them to do that. Hey, I don't want you to do this. So don't, don't act like this. Don't do this. But once I learned this power, man, it's all good. You do whatever you want to do. And then I have the confidence that I know what, how to direct my own behaviors no matter what you do, good, bad, ugly, it don't matter. You know? And um, you want to talk positive? We can talk positive. You want to start yelling your voice? You can do that. But I'm going to turn around and walk out the room. I'm controlling me. I'm not going to try to scream louder to stop you from, from doing something. See the difference? My effort could be trying to stop you from doing something, control you, or I can tr control me. You can scream. You can start cursing if you want. But if you do that, I just walk out the room. And if you follow me, you can follow me. No problem. I'll walk at the house. If you do that too many times, I'll just walk out the relationship. My job is to protect me. My job, my job is to protect myself. So I control my actions and I control, I protect myself by setting boundaries. 
So the boundaries that I set are for me. If you do this, this is what I'm going to do. If you cross this line, you can cross it. But if you do, then this is what I'm going to do. Right? The boundaries I set are not to try to change your behavior or get you to do something. Subsequently, that will sometimes happen, but really it's for me. I'm not setting boundaries to try to get you to do nothing. You can do whatever you want to do, but just know this. I, if I care about you, I'll communicate. I don't have to communicate it, but if, if I communicate, I'll say, yeah, you can, you can, you can be with another woman. So it's, that's all good. You're free to do whatever you want to do, but just know if you do, I'm out. You it ain't going to be you, her and me. I'm out. And I accept that. I'm prepared for that. No problem. I would prefer you didn't do that because I'm happy with us being together, but I'm prepared for you to do whatever you want to do. If you want to stay faithful, cool. You stay faithful, I'm going to stay faithful. You scream at me, I'm not going to scream back because that doesn't protect my inner health. You start screaming at me, I'm walking out the room. I may bring it to your attention because you may not know. I may ask you, hey, man, I don't know if you realize, you know, bring your voice down. Oh, OK. Give you a chance to correct that behavior. But if you continue that behavior, then I'm out the door to the other room. I'm not saying I'm out of a relationship because you make a mistake and start screaming. But if you can, if I can, if I tell you this is what I don't like and you continue to do it, then that shows that you don't respect me. And why would I want to be in a relationship that with somebody that don't respect me? follow me the bottom line is i only control me and i don't worry about controlling other people